My name is Mohanan. Oh, full name. Oh, Mohanan Hassan. All right, state. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you please spell your name? First yes, it spells M O H A N A D. Last name spells H A S O N A. Mohanad or Mo. Mo. Yeah. Do people call you Mo? Yeah, some people do. Yeah. Do you refer to yourself as Mo? Sometimes when, when it's really hard to um, hear my name, um, I do, yeah. Okay. And um, where do you presently live? In Grenada. Grenada, not Grenada. No, Grenada, West Indies, Caribbean. West Indies, Correct. not Grenada, Spain. Correct. Okay. Um, and what are you doing there? I'm studying medicine. Did you ever live in San Antonio? Yes, ma'am. Um, did you live... Well, why were you in San Antonio? I was studying at UT Health uh, Science Center. I was in the Masters of Respiratory Care uh, program. Okay. And where were you living when you lived in San Antonio? At the Henry B. At the Henry B. Correct. Correct. Um, are those the ones that are located here in Bear County um, off Vance Jackson? Yeah, 11530 Vance Jackson, yeah. Okay. Um, and what was your apartment number? 811. Okay. Uh, what was the apartment number right above you? I believe it was 812. Okay. And were 810 then below you? I think so. That's I think I think so. Excuse me, one at a time. I'm sorry. I, I do believe so, yes. Okay. Um, when you were living at 812, I'm, I'm sorry. I was at 811. 811. Yes. Yes. Um, did you ever uh, know anything about your neighbors? above you in 812? As far as... Like, as far as... Did you ever meet them? In passing? In passing. I would say yes. Um, do you see the residents of 812? Do you see them in court today? Yes, ma'am. Can you please um, identify him by an article of clothing? Yes, he is wearing a blue jacket, blue suit jacket. Okay, I'll let the record reflect. Or navy blue suit, yeah. I'll let the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant um, now, how long um, did Mr. Ruiz live um, above you in 812? I'm not entirely sure. Um, a few months, I would say. Okay. A year. And, and what time period uh, did you live in Henry B. Apartments? I lived there for about two years. Um, 2021 through a little bit of 2023, I believe. Now, did you ever have any any concerns about the individuals that lived above you? Yes, I've called I've called nine one one multiple times for noise complaints, as well as um, the reason why we're here today the the, the child that was uh, continuously crying. Sorry, excuse me, sir. Could you speak a little slower and a little closer to the mic? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I can get and possibly I'll, closer I'll than that. I'll break that down a little bit. Yeah. Um, did you ever call um, emergency personnel regarding? Concerns about the individuals in the apartment above you. Yes. Okay. Um, did you call them multiple times? Yes. Okay. Um, just generally, um, what were some of the reasons that you called? Noise, noise complaints, and um, the child that was crying. Okay. Now let's talk about the child. Okay. Um, did you ever meet a child? Uh, that lived in, in 812. In passing, yes. Okay. Um, and could you approximate an age of the child? Based on my medical experience, no more than seven years old, I would say between, I don't know, five to seven. Okay. And was the child male or female? Female. Um, did, did she have dark or light hair? Dark hair. No, she just pet my dog a couple of times, going up and down the stairs, and we would say hi, she'd say hi, and that's about it. Did you ever see more than one child? I want to say yes, but I don't, like, completely recall. Okay. But I'd never seen any other children other than females. So if, if there was more than one child, another female, possibly. 
Did you know the name of the children? No, ma'am. No. no. You said you lived in Henry Lee 2021 through 2022? To, to 2023, yes. Okay. Um, when did you start noticing a child crying, if you remember? Around, I want to say around the November 2021 time frame. And what is there a particular time of day that you would hear the child? Not, not a particular time, just more, I would say mostly during the day. Yeah. And what was your work schedule back then? Uh, it depended on what I was doing that day because I was in, in the program. So we would either be at the university and that would usually be 8 to 5. Um, and then like I'll come back home in the afternoons or um, 7 to 7 at the hospital to do my rotations. But I wasn't always going to the hospital. Like it was some days yes, some days no, just depending on, on the schedule. Did you ever work overnight? Some, yes. What is it about, well, let me ask you this. Have you lived in apartments before? Yes. Have you heard children crying before? Yes, but not this way. Okay, what was it about this crying that caused you concern? Two, two things, the intensity, um, like the wailing and how severely the, the, uh, the child was crying and that duration, it was very prolonged. And and while she was crying, did you ever hear her say any words with it? Not words, just ow, ow, ow. You could hear her say ow? Yes. How often would she say ow? Continuously. Okay. And did it... Are you able to to differentiate a child that is crying because they're they're upset they lost a toy versus a child crying in pain. Yes. What was this cry like? More definitely in pain. Were there other noises that you heard that maybe led you to believe that um, there was something going on causing the child pain? Yes. What other noises? There was um, a male voice yelling, um, and then there was the voice of something making contact with the body, some like a hand or a device or I don't know. Um, how often would you hear a male yelling? Quite often. There was fights in that home most of the time. Were you able to hear words when he would yell? Sometimes, yes. Did it sound like he was yelling at the child? In that particular time when I called 911, yes, absolutely. And you said you heard some kind of contact. Can you, um, was it a banging noise? Was it a screeching noise? What was the contact noise that you heard? It's more like when a spank happens or like when something is slammed. Okay, yeah. Like yeah. 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 Did you ever hear uh, a female, um, an adult voice? Yes. Uh, what was the nature of the female's voice when you would hear it? Yelling as well. Was she, um, could you tell if it was directed at the child as well or someone else? I could not. Um, specifically, and, and we listened to your 911 call. Um, you have reviewed your 911 call today, correct? Can you hear that again? I'm sorry. You had reviewed the, the 911 call that you made correct. prior to coming to court. Correct. Okay. Um, when you made that call, um, was there a voice that seemed like attributable to the, the pain and the crying that you heard? From the child? Yes. Um, was that the male or the female voice? The female voice was saying ow, and she was just continuously crying and wailing, and the the male voice was yelling at her. Do you recall what, if he was saying anything when he was yelling? Yes. What was he saying? He was saying, do not cry, do not cry. Um, I can't 
really tell if he was saying do not do that or um and then definitely saying i am talking to you I do not recall that. Um, how often would you hear the child crying accompanied by another individual, an adult yelling? How often would you hear that? I don't recall how often, but I recall that the time that I called was the most severe time that I've heard it. The time that I called was definitely the male. or for the incident in um, general? Specifically regarding um, just any concerns with age law. I want to say three times. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you.